Hello, in this video I'm going to show you how to use the S Pen on Samsung Galaxy Tab S10 Plus and S10 Ultra. I'm going to show you some tips and tricks for the gestures that you can use in order to utilize the pen and use it together with the, with the tablet. So first and foremost, of course, over here we have this button on the S Pen. Uh, most of the time we need to press and hold the button, if not in all cases, we need to press and hold the button and then do a gesture with our hand, with the pen in our hands in order to do something. I'm gonna show you what you can do in certain situations, uh, but the most important part is of course this button. Now furthermore, for also most gestures you want to point outside of the tablet, so you want to uh, use it like that with the uh, button over here, so you can use your thumb in order to press and hold the button, because if you point it for instance downwards like that, most of the time it won't work. So for instance, by default you can press and hold the button, in order to open the camera. In the camera, of course, you can do certain gestures that allow you to uh, use the camera and, I don't know, like zoom in, zoom out, and so on and so forth. However, before we move on, I want to actually show you settings. So if you go to the settings, and then scroll down to advanced features, then you can go to S Pen, and over here, you can pretty much learn everything that you need to know about the S Pen, and you can also customize it a bit, because over here, for instance, we have Air Actions, so these are the gestures that we use in order to do something in the app. Of course, we can press learn how in order to uh, do something with the, uh, with the S Pen. So let's actually try it out and I'm going to show you how to complete this tutorial as well. So for instance, we have the try up action. So point outside of the tablet like that, hold the button and then just move it up. Let's give it another try. Okay, I think I was too slow. There we go, okay, finally it worked. Uh, so sometimes you need to get used to it, so this is why I also recommend uh, using the tutorial in order to uh, find out how to actually use it. So now we need to try the to go left. There we go. Then we will need to try the clockwise circle. There we go. Pretty easy. And the shake action. Perfect, so this is the whole tutorial. Of course, these are just basics. Um, over here at the bottom we have anywhere actions, so we can press and hold the pen button in order to open the app, and by default it opens the camera of course. However, if you want to, you can for instance press and hold the button in order to use the screen write feature, or sketch the image, or uh, to create a new node, and so on and so forth. So you can fully customize this option and use it for your own uh, thing. Now. You can also enable and disable this option if you don't want to use it at all, then of course you can disable it. And here we also have those gestures that I just shown you, at least some of them. And you can also customize them as well, so you can actually use those gestures for something else, if you wish to do that. Now, at the bottom we also have app actions, so these are actions that can be used in specific apps, so let's check out Samsung Notes. And if you want to find out how to do something, then we have those um, instructions over here. So for instance, in order to go to the previous page or the next page, we need to uh, move up or down with our S Pen, of course, while holding the button. We can also zoom in and zoom out by using the clockwise circle or anti-clockwise circle, and so on and so forth. And not only that, because we can also use the this button over here, this is also a cool tool that allows you to uh, access uh, certain features. So if you want to uh, quickly create notes or if you want to start writing on the screen, then you can do the screenshot and then immediately you can start drawing, writing something and so on and so forth. So this is also a pretty cool way to, uh, to utilize the S Pen. And over here at the bottom, we have general app actions. So these are actions that are used for most, app most apps. For instance, we have media where we can uh, volume up and volume down, uh, for instance, on YouTube. So if I jump into YouTube, let me actually play a song over here. So I can, for instance, just press this button once like that in order to pause and play the song. I can, while holding, move to the right in order to skip to another song or move it to the left in order to go to the previous song. Of course, all this while holding the, um, the button. I can also volume up to uh, if I move up. There we go. Let's try it out. I'm actually just skipping songs. There we go. 
you can also see the gestures over here so sometimes it registers weirdly but this is because I actually don't use the uh, pen that often so this this is why definitely you can learn all of these to uh, use them smoothly so let's go back from the air actions because we also have air commands and this is the this menu over here that I shown you so of course you can also customize it as well you can add some shortcuts you can remove them so for instance if you want to I don't know like quickly open gallery with this option then of course you can do that so now if I open it I also have gallery over here and we can also hide the air command icon as well we can also open the air command with the pen button so we can um, hover our S Pen over the screen and press the pen button in order to do so. So let's see if that works. I'm not sure if that's the case. Uh, nevertheless, uh, this can be enabled and disabled as well. We have the air view, which uh, you can turn on air view pointer to see exactly where your S Pen is pointing. So I'm not sure if it will be visible on the screen, but there is a small circle. I'm going to actually try to hold closer to the to the camera there we go you can see there is this pointer if I don't touch the screen there is this pointer which can be also enabled and disabled we can use previews and pointer or we can use pointer only or previews only all right we also have the option to convert S Pen to text so if you um, if you have the text field where you can type something so instead of using the keyboard you can actually write something with your S Pen on the screen in order to convert it to the text. Over here you also have this pretty nice uh, explanation, uh, this image that shows you how to use all of these features. All right, now in addition to that, we can also decide what should happen when we take out the S Pen out of the back, uh, out of the magnet at the back of the, um, of the tablet. So by default, it does nothing, however, we can also immediately create a node or open air command. So I'm going to actually select to create node. I'm going to put the S Pen inside. Uh, where is it? There we go. So now the S Pen is at the back. And now if I take it out, it immediately opens nodes in a pop-up window. Of course, we can go back in order to reopen different nodes and so on and so forth. We can tap on these three dots in order to and uh, do some uh, additional changes and of course um, if you want to you can close this later we have a screen off memo so while notes uh, while notes uh, write notes sorry while the screen is off so you can press and hold the pen button and double tap the screen with your s pen to start a new note you can also use quick notes so you can press and hold the pen button and then tap the screen twice with your s pen to create a new note so lots of note options and we also have more S Pen settings, so uh, you can also check them out as well. We have the S Pen Unlock, so you can press the pen button to unlock your tablet if it locks while you are using your S Pen. And after you unlock it with your S Pen, your tablet will stay unlocked until your S Pen is disconnected or attached to your tablet, and so on and so forth. So you can check these options out once you, uh, once you go there. And that's pretty much it. Of course, um, if you, for instance, go to Notes, let's quickly create a new note. Uh, keep in mind that, for instance, if you want to switch to the keyboard or if you want to type with the keyboard, then of course you need to look for the icon with the keyboard and then you should be able to open it as well. And uh, every app pretty much has own features and tools that you can use in order to utilize the S Pen. So um, there is pretty much everything that you, anything that you want to do with the S Pen, you can do within certain apps like with the notes. With uh, even with screenshot, when you perform the screenshot in order to write something or select something on the screen, it is definitely possible with the S Pen. So that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching. Leave a like and subscribe to my channel, and see you in my next videos. Bye.